before a woman physically cheats on you, chances are that she had already begun cheating emotionally for a long time. <music> There are so many videos out there on how to know when a woman cheats on you or how to know that she is cheating on you. Okay, now you've known that your wife or your girlfriend or your partner is cheating on you. The question now is, why? I'm here to tell you why she cheated on you. Okay, all right. Number one. I'll ask you a question. Who exactly did you marry? That's a good question. Who did you marry? A prostitute is a prostitute. Take that from me. An aristo babe is an aristo babe. Hmm? An olosho is an olosho. That you met a girl in the club or a stripper or an escort. And after the services, you fell in love or you grew in love with a sick person and decided to settle down. Do not feel that everything has stopped. Maybe at the moment she decided to be faithful to you. She just went on leave. The beginning period of a marriage with a prostitute is actually a leave for her. After a while, her real personality will return when she gets bored of having sex with just one person. You know, she's not used to having sex with just one person. That is the problem. It's not even about the money. It's about her body. So when she returns to her normal self, then she will start all over again. From there she starts. Please, if you married an Olosho, a prostitute, well, chances are that she would likely be unfaithful to you. Number two, cheating girlfriends. The kind of friends your girlfriend move around with determines her personality. She won't stay just for long. She won't stay faithful for long. So, all these women say no, in as much as my girlfriends know they are this, they are that, I am different. I'm a different personality anyway, baby girl. It is not going to be for long. Over time, you may change. So, when you want to know factors that contributed to your girlfriend or your wife cheating, look around her. You may find that her friends cheat. No matter how good a woman is, no matter how faithful she wants to be, if she continually dwell amongst women who do not value their body, women who believe in cheating, if she surrounds or dwells amongst women who cheat their husband, chances are that your wife or your girlfriend will cheat on you. If she does not cheat on you today, she may cheat tomorrow. Now, if you've already discovered that she's, or maybe she might be cheating on you, maybe it's time to look closer to know the kind of friends surrounding her. Number three, hereditary. <laughs> what kind of a mother does your partner have? If her mom is an Olosho woman, if her mom is unfaithful to her dad, chances are she will be unfaithful to you. Parental upbringing is very important and our character, our life reflects a lot in our children. Okay, talk is cheap, but character is important. A young girl who grew up with a mother who is cheating on the father will not see anything wrong with cheating on you. There are women out there who gallivant and jump from one man's bed to another and they have children. They see you. They hear you may call. They see some things you do in secret. You may feel your husband is not watching. Well, these children will watch. So when they grow, when they end up in a relationship with somebody, cheating won't be something strange to them. So what I'm saying is, parental upbringing is very important. Maybe she inherited it from her mom. Who knows? Maybe that's why she's cheating on you. Maybe your money isn't actually the problem. But how she was brought up. Okay? Number four is emotional and psychological temptation. Now, there are men out there who are mean. You got married to somebody and you're not even, you know, body is not firewood. You left her. Especially those of you outside the country. And I tell people, if you want to get married or date someone, just put 
it's into consideration that distance marriage is not always good. No matter the kind of money you want to send to her. Her body needs to be touched. Women are highly romantic in nature more than men. A man may be, well, after being, once they are aroused, them, you know, they'll do their thing and up they move. A woman is for consistency. She needs love. She needs romance. Her emotion runs high here and there. She needs sweet words. And when you don't provide it and someone else, else out there does that, chances are that she may emotionally get disconnected from you. And once she emotionally connects to another man or another woman, she's gone. So, go back to the drawing board and ask yourself, am I doing my own bidding? Am I playing my role properly as a husband or as a boyfriend or as a lover? Try as much as possible to engage your woman properly. Maybe she's good. Maybe she did not intend to cheat on you. However, for a long period of time, it may not be an excuse, but my dear, it's an excuse if we are trying to tell ourselves the truth. Let us stop all this fake life. She's a woman. She's human. And blood runs through her veins. If you do not want a woman to cheat on you and you are residing outside the country, please come back or do everything you can to take her with you. Yes. Once she is emotionally battered or psychologically twisted, she's twisted. So she may cheat on you. Number five is vengeance. Hmm. There are women who may want to revenge by messing around with other men. Maybe a woman who felt heartbroken by a partner. You know, there are men who are so mean. They won't even sleep with another person but your best friend or your sister. Maybe you cheated on her with her sister or her best friend or her cousin and out of bitterness, being heartbroken to revenge, she decided to mess around. And sometimes these women may let you know through their body language. So vengeance, revenge can make someone mess around or cheat on you. Number six is finance. A woman may run out of option, maybe to provide for the family. Maybe you as Emma, you are just there, you're not bringing anything, you're not contributing anything into her life, and she has a lot of bills to pay, and she doesn't know how to get it. She may fall into the temptation of trying to get money by satisfying someone else. So, finance can also lead to cheating. So you ask yourself, am I providing for my woman? What and what does she need? In as much as we're talking about finance, greed can as well cause it. So greed goes along with finance. There are women that their spouse or their lover or their partner provides for, but because of greed, because of their insatiable need, their, their desire to get more may lead them to cheating their partner just to get more money. Okay, so that can also contribute to why she cheated on you. So examine her, examine your environment and ask yourself certain important questions. The next point, number six, is cause. Yeah, there are women who are just there, gallivanting from one bed to another because of something done to them in the spirit realm. There are women that, you don't even know why they're even cheating because they have almost everything, yet they cheated. So the question is, why did she cheat? on you. I've listed some factors. So sit down and ask what exactly caused this problem? Maybe one or two out of what I listed might have contributed to her cheating on you. Find out and sit down and work on that to prevent it from happening again. Maybe you are part of the problem. Maybe you're not satisfying your woman. I know some women may not even tell you the truth. It is high time you let your woman open up to you. Okay, we want to solve this problem. It is not all about if she's cheating on you. It's all about why she's cheating on you. And you know when you find out why, like I've listed, now you will know the solution to the problem. 
please forward this video to someone else you like or someone whom you feel may know about this or who is passing through something like this or who wants to know things like this it will help them okay subscribe to our channel send us to your loved ones and let us be a family if this is your first time you know what to do please subscribe share this video to someone out there and hit on the like button please we need your honest comments comment on this let us know your own opinion okay you can also tell us your own mind you can also give us your own suggestion you can also bring in other factors that may trigger a woman to cheating her husband or her partner have a lovely day once again truth live in this channel thank you